Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss about quenching of excited states. The previous video we discussed about what is a photochemical reaction, what are the different processes that occur in a photochemical reaction and also we discussed about what is fluorescence and phosphorescence. And in this video we are dealing with the what is quenching or a quenching of excited state. So, according to or in a photochemical reaction, uh, there will be a absorbing of light and in the molecule that are in a uh, ground state after absorbing this light molecule will get excited into a uh, higher energy level. That is the primary process we already saw that. So, after uh, we saw that in some cases, uh, some Photochemical reactions are quantum yield of some photochemical reactions are very low. So in the in that case, we discussed that it may be due to the deactivation of this excited molecule. So here we are going to deal with that. A photo excited molecule after absorbing light, the molecule will get excited or that will be in a photo excited state. So the molecule that are in a photo excited state may undergo deactivation in maybe in different ways. That one way is that this molecule that is photo excited molecule will undergo reaction with other molecule that present the, in the system and thereby get deactivated that is photochemical reaction or sometime what will happen they may undergo radiative deactivation that is luminescence alternatively this type of photo excited molecules may get deactivated non radiatively through a transfer of their energy to other acceptor molecule in the system which may be then undergo deactivation by suitable means excited state is then said to be quenched in the partner in the atom other is the photochemical process in light absorb in the exciting so he excited the molecule react the photochemical reaction in the other other reaction will come to come other is a man the radiation for the bit luminescence like a fluorescence or phosphorescence that it will deactivate sometime in the summer key photo excited molecule at in the energy warrior molecule and could go a molecule and I can am e energy accept in a car even I can am a molecule e type excited state in a number in a day said to Quenched, quenched, or either in the energy matter molecule like it transferred, energy as a term molecule like it transferred. So we can define quenching is the shortening of the lifetime of an excited state of an atom or molecule. That of course, how the shortening of lifetime of this excited state will happen? It occurs due to the presence of an another atom or molecule that can absorb this uh, radiation or that energy that type of, of molecule is known as quencher the molecule which is accepting the energy from an excited molecule is known as quencher in other words we can say that quenching is the catalytic non-radioactive deactivation of a excited molecule without chemical reaction we know that it is the deactivation process of that photo excited molecule but it will not undergo any chemical reaction only the energy transfer will happen there. it is a non-radiative photophysical process in which photo excited molecule photo excited molecule will act as a donor and restored unchanged it is ground state that uh, excited molecule that donor molecule will come back to its uh, original state that means in uh, ground state by the presence of another molecule a that a molecule is the acceptor molecule or quencher that will accept the energy from b mm, mm, the excited uh, donor molecule so quenching of the excited state on an excited molecule d star I excited molecule now we are representing like star which it on a representation and for me like so this excited molecule by a second in the summer we can 
uh, energy will transfer to another molecule A. That and then this A molecule ground state like in that can that molecule will get excited by absorbing the A energy from D. So in this summary can the activated A the D molecule will deactivate the other ground state like very uh, electronic energy transfer is represented like this D star plus A will give D plus A star. This coining process is completed when A star then undergoes radiative or radiative deactivation to D. And sometimes this A star molecule will undergo reaction or sometimes it will get deactivated. Mm, both will happen, some depending upon this molecule. And various phenomena are related to the process of quenching of excited state. Several of them are interrelated and may overlap in each other. So, two of them, namely, is photosensitization and quenching of fluorescence. These are the some quenching, whatever quenching is happening is in this type of process, photosensitization or quenching of fluorescence. So, next we are going to deal with whatever photosensitization or a photosensitized reaction. What is happening in a photochemical reaction or in a photosensitized reaction? It means um, it is the photochemical process that reaction between photoinsensitive reactant. The reaction, the photochemical reaction is happening the earth in a molecule but that molecule cannot absorb light. That is why it is termed as a photoinsensitive molecule by the presence of a foreign inert substance. Foreign inert substance means that foreign inert substance will not going to react in this chemical reaction but that is a photosensitizer means that inert molecule will absorb light and will get into higher excited state which absorb light. This phenomenon is called photosensitization. One molecule, one chemical, one photochemical reaction, not a photochemical reaction, not a molecule will not get it absorbed by, uh, means it will not absorb energy, but a light energy will, a higher energy is getting by transferring a, another foreign molecule that is an inert substance. That inert substance will absorb light and it will get activated. That activated energy is giving to another molecule that is undergoing photochemical reaction. That molecule will undergo photochemical reaction. It is that type of a reaction is known as photosensitized reaction. Here the sensitizer absorbs light energy but does not take part directly in the reaction. Merely act as a carrier of carrier, carrier of light energy which is eventually transferred to a reacting molecule through collision. Okay. A reactive molecule then activated into chemical reactions. Okay. So, these are the some examples for this photosensitized reaction. The most important and most uh, uh, label or uh, example that we can see in nature is the photosynthesis. In that process, chlorophyll acts as a sensitizer the molecule which absorb light is known as sensitizer so that molecule chlorophyll will absorb light and it will get activated that activated chlorophyll will give the energy to the carbon dioxide and water will form glucose and oxygen chlorophyll will come into its original ground level energy state these are the example for this photosensitized reaction another example is the dissociation of molecular hydrogen into atom this molecule here mercury will mercury vapor will get activated by uh, light then that energy is transferred to hydrogen that hydrogen will undergo photochemical reaction will to atomic hydrogen molecular hydrogen will forming atomic hydrogen another photosensitized reaction is cis butyl 2 into trans 2 butyl this is the another uh, photosensitized reaction here what will happen so to act as a quencher sorry so to act, act as a sensitizer that will absorb light and will, that energy will give to cis butin that cis butin will convert into trans butin that is the photochemical reaction uh, chlorine photosensitizer decomposition of ozone into oxygen 
this is the happening there in our where environmental chemistry le nammal padichittundalle ozone deactive ozone depletion ozone depletion le chlorine molecule is act as a photosensitizer so that in the presence of chlorine molecule or some other we know that in that presence only this uh, depletion of ozone will happen this is the decomposition of ozone into oxygen another example for this photo excitation state Mm, photosensitized reaction okay so it is the photosensitized reaction then next type of uh, this type of quenching uh, is quenching of fluorescence what is happening there intensity of fluorescent radiation may diminish fluorescence fluorescence in the intensity may be get diminished due to this type of quenching that is quenching of fluorescence. That is why the emission may cease altogether if the photo excited atom or molecule are deactivated by other, uh, uh, other atoms or molecule before they have a chance to fluorescence. Now, we say that is known as quenching of fluorescence. We say that fluorescence is excited molecule. That is the energy for the voltage in ground state. Fluorescence. intensity the molecule, energy molecule presence, transfer energy low That is why it is known as quenching of fluorescence. <coughs> Example for this quenching of fluorescence. Mercury fluorescence it is an example for fluorescence so in the presence of gases like hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and the vitamin or thallium vapor it is quenched. it is quenching of fluorescence so mercury fluorescence in the intensity will decrease next fluorescence from chlorophyll 2 chlorophyll is quenched by the presence of oxygen or quinine and the fluorescence of tryptophan is also quenched by adding ion the presence in the fluorescence corium. Quinine the fluorescence, chloride ions in the presence in the And then I will tell you about the mechanism. The activated excited molecule will be added to the energy of the molecule. Then this energy this molecule will be added to the energy of the molecule. Any of fluorescence, the definition interrelating the photo excitation process means quenching mercury photo light absorbed excited process in a photo excitation. Uh, due to in the presence of hydrogen gas and the item either mercury excited area deactivity that is the quenching of fluorescence this quenching of fluorescence is the activated molecule will undergo chemical reaction that is known as photosensitized reaction hmm? that is photosensitized reaction Mercury, the presence light absorbed excited, mercury, thallium vapor the presence deactivated, that is quenching of fluorescence. sensitized fluorescence excited thallium vapor, ground energy energy mercury in the fluorescence thallium vapor excited Sensitized fluorescence. Adim activated a molecule in the energy for take another, another molecule, so fluorescence per another, one another. Sensitized fluorescence. What is sensitized fluorescence? Sensitized fluorescence is the phenomena in which a normally non fluorescent substance is made to fluorescence in the presence of suitable fluorescent substance. That is the fluorescence. Fluorescent substance in the presence of the fluorescent activity. That is a sensitized fluorescence. Thank you. In the next video, we will discuss about what is chemiluminescence and bioluminescence. 
that is the last part of this chapter thank you thank you very much